Emergency workers in Beirut are continuing their search for survivors, digging through the rubble from Tuesday's massive explosion. At least 130 people are confirmed dead and 5,000 injured. As anger builds within the country over possible negligence that led to the blast, the international community is rallying to support the crisis-hit nation as it enters a two-week state of emergency. French President Emmanuel Macron is due to visit Lebanon later today, a gesture towards the historic relationship between the two countries. Evelyn Laverick tells us more. The devastation of Beirut's port. Investigators probing the deadly blast that ripped across the city are focused on possible negligence. Tons of highly explosive fertilizer were stored in a waterfront warehouse for the last six years. Just who knew it was there? Several port officials are now under house arrest. The area close to the centre of the blast remains sealed off. Rescuers haven't given up searching the rubble. Around 100 people are still missing. The destruction caused by the blast was so extensive that Beirut's governor says 300,000 people have been made homeless. Many are trying to salvage what they can. This woman has lived here all her life. When I came here to get my mother and brother, I had to walk on the highway. Then I saw a lot of wounded people. I saw dead people. It was a terrible sight. Volunteers have poured onto the streets of Beirut to help clear up the devastation, while others have been visiting the worst affected areas in a state of shock. You can cry from what you see here. The country is struggling. Every time we fight one step forward, we push ten steps back. There's nothing more to say. May God help us and Lebanon. A number of countries have offered humanitarian assistance. Three French planes with 55 rescuers and supplies have been sent. The EU also plans to send search and rescue equipment. But food is also needed. Lebanon imports everything, and with its port gone, food security is a worry. Immediately following the explosion, there was chaos as Beirut's hospitals, already struggling with the pandemic, were overwhelmed. Three were knocked out by the blast and remained closed. The St George's Hospital near the site of the explosion was badly damaged and several members of staff were killed. It was forced to transfer patients. There is damage all across the five floors. Since last night we have been evacuating patients to a field hospital downstairs and we are just giving them primary care. A two-week state of emergency has been declared and funds made available, but recovering from the blast will take much more. Even Laverick, Euronews.